Hi everyone! This week's video, oh boy, I've been excited for you guys to see it. I am recording the introduction on Monday. This happened last Tuesday night on New Year's Eve night. I'm going to hopefully get this edited and put up tonight, if not uh, tomorrow. That's besides the point. Uh, there is a girl that I meet at this dance that I'm going to. And I want to tell you guys about the update of what it is that happens, where we stand. In order to hear that though, first, it'd be good if you actually watch the video of how the night went and everything and uh, see what built up to it. But before I give the update and end the video, I am going to give the Skippy Squad just before that. So just a quick note to Nick M, Gus A, Zach T, Matthew E, Tanner B, and Mario K. I'm still going to do the Skippy Squad shout outs to you guys, but uh, so that you get your, so that uh, this part isn't long and boring right now, I'm gonna shut up, cut to the video, cut in, do the Skippy Squad, and then I'm going to update everyone on what happens with me and the girl that you're gonna see in this video. I'm excited. I am still editing the video, so I'm not sure how long this video is that you're watching right now, but I am excited because, you know, when you're in that phase where you meet someone and you think they're awesome and you hope that they think that uh, you're awesome, right? And you want to go on a date, I am definitely in that phase. Uh, so yeah, that's what that is. In the coming weeks for my YouTube channel, I will be meeting celebrities up at the Sundance Film Festival. Hence, I've got uh, a couple of new hats that I made. I, I am Skippy, and that says uh, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram. So uh, that's me. And also, uh, just really quick, you can uh, book me on Cameo, like Mario K did. Uh, you can uh, volunteer to uh, be a part of the Skippy Squad shoutouts that will be coming later in this by going to at I am Skippy on Venmo. Okay, here's the video of what happened that night. Uh, I'm going to warn you right now, there is very quickly into the video, but not for very long, some male nudity, specifically my male nudity, specifically my chubby ass body. Okay, it's gonna be cringy, and I'm not sure how great the audio is, but I hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone, it's New Year's Eve 2019. And let's see, it's going to be a little bit shaky because I'm not currently using uh, the handheld thing. But uh, I, this is what I look like right now. I've got my clothes out and I'm trying to decide what exactly to wear. I'm thinking I'm going to go with this shirt and possibly those pants there. I've also got the option for... Uh, for blue jeans. I got some cologne samples because it's always good to uh, go to the dance uh, smelling nice, right? So I've got, uh, let's see, Versace. And then this is Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. This one is called Spice Bomb. And then I've got my Aqua Digio there. Uh, every year, I I mentioned this last year, but uh, every year, I switch into new socks, so I've got uh, some new socks to change into. I, I can do those ones or these ones. Time to shower and then uh, get ready and go. Thanks for joining me, everyone. So I feel pretty confident, like 97% confident that no girl is going to see me shirtless tonight but in the event that someone recognizes me and says hey didn't you have a heart shaved into your chest hair i saw a video or something like that i thought that i would in addition to uh shaving like this that i would also uh so you can kind of see it and then down here there should be an l over here, the belly button's an O. There should be a V right here and an E 
right there. And yeah, definitely one of my goals for the new year has got to be losing weight because this is pathetic. But uh, yeah, going to shave uh, and update the hair heart situation. Okay, shaky hands and all, heart, love. Yeah, that looks okay. Okay, next part, showering and you guys don't care, anyways. Okay, so here's what's happening. I showed up at my buddy Tucker's place and I told him about the video that I had done a year ago on New Year's Eve and said that I was gonna make another video like it and ask him if he wanted to be a part of it. Now, much like some of the girls that I know and have gone on dates with over the years, not everyone says yes. And so in this case, Tucker will not be seen in this video unless he is accidentally seen in a uh, group or like a mass showing of everyone in the room kind of thing. But I will not be pointing out Tucker specifically because uh, let's see if he'll uh, voice. You don't want to be on camera, do you, Tucker? No, not, not tonight. Okay. So, uh, yeah, which is totally understandable and respectable. And uh, people in the comments, I'm sure, uh, will be ripping on me for uh, not having that happen with girls that like uh, they'll think more girls won't. You know what? It's going to be interesting to see how long this video is. There's a chance that all this video is is me walking into the dance, showing you guys <laughs> the dance, and then uh, not getting anyone to go on camera with me, which is a very real possibility. And I am going to be trying to dance. Uh, I'm going to ask girls to dance. It's uh, like 10:15 right now. Midnight is obviously an hour and 45 minutes away. We wanted to be fashionably late, plus I was uh, 15 minutes late getting here uh, for Tucker. And, uh, but yeah, this is what's going on. We're off and going, and uh, next stop is the dance. This is at a LDS church, or a Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, the age, I'm assuming, uh, the ages on this is 30 to 45 year olds. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Here. Can you check your uh, ID, please? Oh, we're checking IDs. Yes, we do. Sweet. In case there's too young or too old. That's correct. What's the ages on this? 30 to 55. 30 to 55. Yes, cool. Wristband is on. Okay. So. What are you? Yeah. I'm a robot. You're a robot. There you go. Any reason in particular you're a robot? It's 2020, man. The year that the robots take over? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I don't know what's going on. Right it's, on. It's New Year's. It's New Year's. Good call. Yeah, I missed the show on Halloween. Did anyone else uh, dress up? Or are you the only one? <laughs> I'm the only one, man. Are you? The only one. Okay. Yeah. I now feel underdressed. Like I should be, I should be, I should have done some sort of costume. Something like that. Oh well. Dude. Have you danced with any ladies? Has it helped with the ladies tonight? <laughs> Not as much as I have. As you had hoped? No. Yeah. No, but it's okay. Right on. Can I put you on my YouTube video? Yeah, dude. You have a pretty good channel. Uh, <laughs> 12,500 subscribers. What? Yeah. 
Alright, what's your name? I'm Karsten. Karsten, I'm Skippy. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, man. You too, brother. Happy New Year. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so one of the things, so I'm here at the uh, drain. Again, much like last year, this is water. It's not spike. Is it water or punch? It's punch? It's water? Yeah. Okay, it's water in pink glasses. And then um, the other thing uh, is there is a mince table. Okay, what's your name? Nancy? Nancy? Yeah. Hi, Nancy, I am Skippy. I saw Nancy filming and I like waved at her phone. Uh, there it is, right? And I said, if I'm in yours, will you be in my video? And she said, yes. Where are you from, Nancy? Bolivia. From where? Bolivia. Bolivia. Bolivia, right on. Uh -huh. Happy New Year's, Nancy. Thank you. What are you filming for? This is for our Facebook group. Uh, what's your Facebook group called? For the dance, for the Centerville Caseville Dance. How do people find it? LDS Singles Caseville Dance Facebook group. LDS Singles Case uh, Facebook group.com is where you find it. Okay. Yeah. I am Skippy. This is for my YouTube channel. Oh, nice. What's your name, man? I'm Aaron. Aaron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. So there's a Facebook group for single Mormons. I'm curious how much of my video will actually be able to be seen because of music copyrights. I should just go introduce myself to some people. Oh, do that again, do that again. Hi everyone. This is my YouTube channel. Hi. They were taking a group photo and I tried getting in on it. I don't usually go for party favors because like I figure that I had spent time doing my hair so why put a hat on it plus I kind of have a big head circumference wise so that doesn't really work for me but nonetheless here is the ornaments uh, table there's a necklace, there is a necklace thing. So, oh. A necklace in case there's a PG-13 uh, rated version of someone wanting beads, right? I can toss it at them in case they show some shoulder or something. I don't know, that's inappropriate. So it's like a line dance song, right? Mormons are really all about that line dancing. So I, here we go, walk into the room. So. song that has been played at literally almost every dance I've been to since 1989, I think. Ice Ice Baby. Jump in. I need to point this out. There are two swear words in the song Ice Ice Baby. The word hell and the word damn. And they literally edited out both swear words in the song like I, I should have been recording it's my bad that I didn't but they muted the volume for the words hell and damn in I Size Baby in a church dance so I have a YouTube channel right I've got like 12,500 subscribers right 
and I made a video of my New Year's Eve dance last year. I checked it today, it's got 29,000 views, right? Over the course of a year, right? But I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go to a dance this year and do a similar kind of thing. And I was talking to my friend Tucker over there, I'm like, I don't have like enough people in my video, and because I talked to you when the camera wasn't on, right? So, can I put you in the video? Okay, so this is Sharon. And Shannon. It, Shannon. Shannon's I thought, my mom. That's who I meant. <laughs> so this is Sharon's daughter, Shannon. And we're at the extent of everything I know about her. Uh, tell me about yourself. Let's get to know each other. I, I'm Skippy. I am 42. Is that your name? No, my real name's Scott, but it's spelled with two T's. The first T is silent. Yeah, thank you. That's my thing. Yeah. Right on. Uh, what do you do? Really? You're a hero. Kind of. You. Right on. I wear my uniform on Friday. Wow. Um, let's see. What uh can I ask your age range? Are you like 35 to 40, 30 to 35? I am 38. You're 38. And I know I look good. How old do you think I am? You do. 42, yeah, okay. So you're way more observant than me. Uh let's see. That's true. Have you ever been married before? Okay. Oh, Do you have any kids? You've got two kids. Right on. Right on. Uh, Do you get sold? Okay. Milk is bad, but like, uh, do you get a lot of hot mom compliments kind of thing? Yes. What kind I am of? A hot mom. You are a hot mom. I love your sparkly outfit. This is gold for people that can't tell. Uh, let's see. What kind of guys do you go for? Younger? No justice. Like, what's your age range? 30 something. Fair enough. Right on. If there's a slow song, do you want to save me a dance for it? You don't have to. Maybe. You know how to dance. I actually kind of do. And this is kind of a slow song, isn't it? Kind of. Do you want to do a half slow song dance? Okay, we're going, I'm going to shut this off so we can enjoy a half slow song dance. Thank you. This is kind of a weird song to be dancing to, like, how exactly are you supposed to be salting to it? Although there is a circle over here. Let's see uh, how people are dancing in the middle of the circle. There's not really anyone dancing in the middle of the circle. It's just a circle of people. No one showing their moves. Sorry. Okay, I forgot to ask specifically. Mary, can I put you in my uh, YouTube video? Is that okay? You don't mind my wild. No, we're literally standing in front of a fan, so your hair is supposed to be wild. What's your, 
Let me ask it this way. Should, I think I'm getting on you. Like, I'm full blown going to ask you for your phone number. Like, I'm not going to record. I'm not going to record your phone number. But I'm just, like, letting you know right now. Like, yeah. Like, we dance. You saw that. And that was a lot of fun. And Mary is a really happy person, which I like asking out whether or not she'll say yes and whether or not they'll be able to hear because of the wind blowing on. Um, <laughs> hey Mary, can we go on a date sometime? <laughs> you know how on Saved by the Bell, Zach calls time out and freezes time? That's essentially what I want to do right here. Okay, how many of you think that she is going to say no? Raise your hand, wherever you're at. If you're on the toilet, if you're in school watching this, maybe on a subway, I don't know where you guys watch this at, but how many of you, raise your hand in public, ignore the people around you. How many of you think that she is going to say no? Raise your hand. And now, how many of you think that she is going to say yes? Raise your hand. And finally, how many of you think that she should not say yes, but she probably will because she seems like a really nice person? Raise your hand. Okay, time back in, but uh, let's find out what she says. I'm, I'm open. You're open. You're open to that. We'll, uh, we'll swap numbers at some point. I said to Mary at the end of our other dance, I said, if there's another, if there's a slow song tonight, like I kind of called kids. So. Not that I expect if like three or four guys come up and ask you to dance that you would say no to all of them, but hopefully one of them at least and be like, Skippy has already called this one. Yeah. You are really pretty. And I love your smile. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna quit recording and then I'm actually gonna ask her questions she might answer. Okay, so, oh, thank you. So, I was talking, oh, sorry. <laughs> so, I was talking to Mary, trying to do the get to know you thing, and I ended up telling a story all about me that lasted like five <laughs> to 10 minutes, and uh, they didn't count us down uh, exactly, so it's now officially, uh, midnight, but they're going to do like a little countdown for us, I guess, and drop the balloons. But uh, I kind of just spent the last 10 minutes talking all about myself. But I promise you, if and when we go on the day, oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. It's New Year. Right there! <laughs> I tried! Woo! My first... My first shutdown of the year! So, 
I just got done talking to Mary, and then I talked to Tucker, and Tucker isn't really feeling it, so happy new year, everyone. See you guys. Bye. Will do. Oh, yeah. So, it's like, what, 1225, right? Something like that. So, when Tucker uh, asked if I wanted to go or uh, I said yes because let's be real I got the phone number of the girl and so absolutely we can go because uh, not that there was a mission to accomplish for tonight but if there was a mission to accomplish tonight I got the phone number hopefully I'm gonna go on a date with Mary mission accomplished uh, Happy New Year to everyone. If this is the end of uh, my video, I just want to, oh, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause real quick. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, looks like uh, it was a pretty good evening. I, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about uh, how Mary and I have been communicating, but first I'm going to do the Skippy Squad. Thank you to everyone that goes to Venmo. And because I don't have Patreon, I uh, do Venmo. So if you want to support me and my channel financially, uh, send me some money to be able to go on a date in case uh, Mary and I, I think, well, you know what? I'm, I'll discuss that later. Uh, but yeah, uh, to help support me on my dates and just uh, with my life, who cares? Uh, yeah, it's at I am Skippy on Venmo. These are the people that have supported me since the last video. Here we go. Nick M. I'm starting off with this guy because he is one of the best supporters of my channel that I've ever had. Nick M. reached out to me, not just for himself, but uh, for Cole and Thomas. The three of them, they go to SBCC. They surf. They play video games. They watch my YouTube channel. They are complete studs. I uh, I was actually in contact with them because with Venmo you can send messages and back and forth. And we've worked out that when I go out to California sometime, I'm gonna meet up with these guys. Cause I mean like you can send me $5, right? But if you send me more than $5 on Venmo, then, you know, don't get me wrong. I mean, like with anyone, if someone gives you $2, you like them. If someone gives you $2 million, you really like them, right? So uh, Nick didn't send me $2 million, but uh, yeah, we connected. We're uh, basically, if I make it out to California, I'm going to try and uh, hang out with these guys sometime. And I guess Nick works at a hotel so Nick, Cole, Thomas, thank you guys so much. And uh, because Nick was so generous, I'm going to uh, try and find uh, some Skippy shirts, which are currently in a storage unit down in Orem, Utah. I'm 70 miles away in Layton, Utah. And I'm also going to be sending uh, them some like Skippy stickers and stuff like that because of the extreme generosity. Thank you so much, Nick, M, Cole, and Thomas. Gus A also uh, donated to the Skippy Squad and he has a YouTube channel specifically, it's Sterling and Stars. And his main message that he wanted me to shout out was that Baja Fish Tacos is life. Gus A, you got it. Thanks man, thanks for supporting Skippy Squad. Zach T sent uh, me the message that he wanted me to, for his uh, Skippy Squad shout out, to mention Christy David underscore on Instagram and congratulate her on graduating and then also on uh, Jake's job. And I'm pretty sure it was that uh, Christy is, uh, is Zach's friend and then Christy is dating Jake. Oh, boy, I hope I am getting that right. Uh, but Congrats on graduating. Congrats on your job, Jake. Thanks for being part of Skippy Squad and supporting me. Matthew E. is uh, donated to the Skippy Squad and he wanted a short bit of uh, marriage advice for him and his fiance, Haley. Okay, uh, 
I get that me giving marriage advice is a lot like uh, a vegan recommending steaks to people, right? I'm not married. It's not my thing. But I did have some really great examples. I had a teacher in high school. Her name was Mrs. Bester. And Mrs. Bester's uh, husband came to visit her in class one day. And he uh, said, excuse me. Uh, and he just popped in, goes over to the uh, desk and leaves her a uh, little uh, thing on the desk, kisses her on the cheek and leaves. And we were in the middle of like studying something and she goes, put down your books. I want to teach you guys something real quick. And so uh, we, and we of course were excited not to be studying that. She says, uh, I want you guys to know that when I raised my kids, my kids were so well behaved. Like they never swore, they never screamed, they never uh, did anything like that. And she goes, and it wasn't until years later that I found out exactly why when one of my kids came and said, uh, mom, do you know why it was that we uh, never argued huge in front of you? And she said, uh, the uh, their kid said that when they were young, her husband would go in and say, hey kids, I love mommy so much. So I want you guys to do me a favor. I want you to please, please, please always be on your best behavior around mommy. He goes, and me too. And he goes, but if nothing else, I want mommy to always be in a good mood and to be happy because she's so important to our family. So will you guys do me a favor and always be on your best behavior in front of mommy? And the kids learned from like a really uh, important age that that was like the only thing daddy wanted. And so she looked at us and uh, Mrs. Bester said, that man has never sworn in front of me. He's never raised his voice. And my kids didn't either. And it's because of that man. So she looks at the young men in the room and goes, so I want you uh, young men to remember the way that I look at my husband right now because if you treat a woman uh, if you treat a woman right you'll have a woman looking at you like I look at my husband and I thought that that was awesome so that's going to be the piece of marriage advice that I have for you Matthew E and Haley good luck thanks for being part of Skippy Squad Tanner B Tanner B said something as simple as this he said good luck on your next day buddy and he donated to Skippy Squad. Thank you so much, Tanner B. I appreciate it. And finally, Mario K. Mario K is a uh, stud for a couple of reasons. Not only did he donate to Skippy Squad for this message that I'm about to shout out, he also had me make a video for him and his friend uh, Tommy on Cameo. So I recorded that video just before uh, doing this. Thank you so much, Mario K. And here's the message that he wanted for Tommy P. He says, hey, Tommy, I just wanted you to know that Mario K is the annoying king. He's so annoying that I don't think you can top this. Okay, that's the message you want. Mario K is the annoying king, and he's also part of Skippy Squad. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks for watching the video to this point, all of you who have stuck with it. Um, I have messaged Mary twice. And basically what happened, uh, I'm, I'm on a family plan with my phone. Uh, one of the members of the family plan has not paid their part of the bill. My phone got shut off. So I can only have access to my phone when I'm connected to the internet and I cannot text people that are not iPhone users. And Mary does not have an iPhone. So I have not been able to text her, although I did get her email address. And so I've emailed her twice, but I uh, emailed her and then it took a couple of days and then she replied and that went pretty well. And then I emailed her back and that took another couple of days. And uh, she actually just uh, replied about an hour ago as I'm recording this. And I said to her in it uh, that bottom line, we do not have to videotape our date. But if you want to, we totally, totally can. I am hoping that she is going to uh, 
Uh, oh, and so I sent her, by the way, I sent her the link to the video of Taylor and I on a date, because I think that that makes me look pretty good, right? It's got 200,000 views. It's uh, my second most watched video, Taylor and Skippy uh, part one. Although part two has like literally half the amount of views, but that's uh, neither here nor there. Anyways, um, I am excited because I think that if she watches that and likes that, that there's a chance that she'll let me film the date that we go on. But I don't want to talk too much about the filming of it because I, I, I like my YouTube channel. I really enjoy this. I like making the videos. I want to become a full-time YouTuber but I also want to get married one day. And I'm not uh, putting the pressure on Mary if she's watching this. I'm not saying that, uh, hey, we're going on a first date, therefore we're going to get married, right? It would be good for me to be able to, uh, if I'm ever going to eventually get married, to go on dates with girls and have more practice and get better at dating. And so I want to go on dates with girls and if they do not, want me to film it. It's totally okay. That doesn't have to happen. And yeah, I also know that uh, the filming of the dates is kind of fun and it's why a lot of you watch these videos. So long answer long, I am trying to get that to go. And if not, it's okay. I will find other video content for you guys, but I'm trying so hard. So that's the update. Thank you for watching. I Oh, wow. I will see, oh, boy. Okay, now the question. Do I put up at the end of this video uh, the email that uh, back and forth so that you can see what I wrote to her for the response and how I'm doing? You know what? It's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. I think I'm going to do that. So the way this video is going to end is uh, I'm going to post up a screenshot of how I uh, messaged her. And yeah, then you guys can tell me how I did um, in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please go to my Venmo at I am Skippy. Please go to Cameo. Get me to make a video for you at I am Skippy. I'm on Instagram at I am Skippy. And that's all that stuff right there. Okay. Woo. All right. Uh, yeah. So end of this video, that's where that is. All right, thanks.